In today's Sharp Saturday video, we're going to take a look at a really cool little made in the USA knife that comes in just over the $50 mark from the folks at Gerber. Talking about the Gerber principle. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Hey, you know, I can see you through these little holes right here. <laughs> Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me. So I'm here at the Survival on Purpose Worldwide Headquarters Outdoor Studio, and it is the middle of May and the mosquitoes are in force. So I got to get the old thermocell crank back up soon. But uh, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and try to get through this video. So if you, if you see one of those pesky little suckers on my forehead, uh, let me know, okay? Anyway, as I said, today we're going to take a look at the Gerber Principle. This is a really cool little made-in-the-USA knife. It comes in at around $60, which I think is a great price for a made-in-the-USA knife. And here on the uh, Sharp Saturdays, I'm doing my best to uh, try to mix in as many made-in-the-USA products as possible. Not just on Sharp Saturday, Saturdays, but throughout the uh, any gear reviews I'm doing this year anyway, because I like to support USA companies and American companies because I am American. So there we go. That being said, um, it is, it's definitely not as easy to find lower priced, budget priced, USA made knives as it is uh, knives coming from other places in the world. So I was really uh, excited when I saw this little knife from Gerber that it is made in the USA and is again around 60 bucks and it seems like a very capable little blade. So I thought we'd do instead of me just rambling on about this, we're going to go down to the old stump top and get to doing some of that knife stuff. We're going to do that right after this word from one of our sponsors. This video is sponsored by my friends at clickbelts.com where you can save 15% by using the coupon code SOP15 at checkout. Clickbelts feature genuine Cobra buckles and they are sewn right here in the USA in the great state of Texas. They've even got the really cool TSA friendly poly Cobra buckle now. So if you're looking for a very, very strong, very cool belt, I encourage you to check out the folks at clickbelts.com. Don't forget Use the coupon code SOP15 to save 15%. Okay, we are back, so with no more rambling, let's get down to the old stump top and get to doing some of that knife stuff with this Gerber Principle. So here is the Gerber Principle fixed blade knife. Again, this knife is, you see, made in the USA. Uh, features a three and a half inch drop point blade of stonewashed 420HC steel with a zero edge Scandi grind, eight and a half inch overall length, as you can see, it's a full tang knife with a rubber TPE rubbery kind of overmolded handle, three fully sleeved lashing holes, and a handle that is designed to give you several different grip options. It comes with a little kind of a molded, some sort of a polymer plastic style sheath, and it's reminiscent of the strong arm sheath. It snaps in, and there's a little button here that kind of locks into this first lashing hole, and you can hear it snap pretty well. And it's, it's by golly in there pretty good but if that's not enough there's also a, a detachable velcro strap here with a little pull tab on it so pretty cool there and then if you look on back it's got this little same kind of little deal as the is a strong arm that allows this thing to be uh, fastened to a molly any sort of molly on a backpack or a vest or it allows you to use the uh, belt carry clip and you just put it on here and you can put it uh, high or you can put it up here and put it where it's a little bit lowered so you got two two different height options on that and you just snap this through and it connects it on there or you can actually use this thing for a scout carry and do it like so and snap it in there and that allows you to carry it scout style you know front or back and then if you're going to carry it right-handed you're going to be upside down if it's going to be left-handed then you're going to be <laughs> i'm looking at it from my viewpoint if you carry it right-handed and what's going to happen is it's going to be upside down for you carry it left hand it's going to be right side up so that's the sheath which i think is a pretty cool little sheath let's get to doing some knife stuff chuck norris can pick oranges from an apple tree and make the best lemonade you've ever tasted okay so i don't see any sense in trying to reinvent the wheel got kind of a standard testing we're going to do so got a piece of cedar here this is again it's just a three and a half inch blade so you're not going to baton anything big with it nor would you really need to but at least it'll help you get into some the center of some wood if you need to kind of get to something drier for a fire or if you need to kind of make some sort of craft you can kind of split stuff out and if you're making a, a fireboard for a bud drill fire or whatever and depending upon the size of your spindle you might could use one of these as a divot but if you you know if it's going to kind of wear down a little bit but that might work 
but let's just uh, go ahead and see if we can baton this little bit out right here and this has kind of got some knots in it so hopefully we'll see but this one's made in the USA so I I'm confident in it oh yeah no problem at all but we didn't hit the knot let's see if we can go through the knot just for fun because why not okay kind of went around the knot a little bit but, all right so there's that obviously it's not a chopper I mean you can you can probably do some little small chopping with it but why would you want to when you could do this just as easy because it is stinking sharp and by the way let's just see okay shaving sharp so there's that let's do a little more batoning here let's split out some of this cedar and see if we can make some pretty cedar feathers because you know I like some cedar feathers because then I get to make some cedar fire and it just smells so good so let's just see it is okay with smaller stuff no doubt about that and we'll just go ahead and uh, put some of these out here I have a little bit bigger piece here with a knot in it I'm gonna try to go through this knot just to show you if, how tough this thing is because I've already went through the knot once um, without a close-up so we'll just go right through the middle of it let's just see there we go so I'm just cutting right down on that knot and that is what destroyed actually a Gerber profile which was like a $20 knife for, for a few years ago but this one seems to be doing okay and that's a pretty hard knot there we're gonna beat it down in and no damage on the edge whatsoever and just to show you um, I got to stop doing that because I got all these bare spots on my arm, but it, it shaves, so that's good too. So let's uh, see how well she makes some feathers because, you know, I like to make some feathers. There's no sense in reinventing the wheel. That's the way I like to do these knife reviews. And this Scandi grind is, man, it is a really good Scandi grind. It, it just, it, it, it butters through this wood. I'm so used to using other grinds. It takes a little getting used to with the Scandi again. So let's find a little bigger. That, that was getting kind of thin on me here. Let's try this one. Okay. Let's try another stick. One more stick. I got to find something I can make some small feathers on. Small feathers with. In my experience, cedar is kind of tricky sometimes to, to, to carve these little feathers or curls out of because it's kind of fibrous, but man, it is beautiful. Well, not a bad little little pile of feathers there. Um, I think it'll work. We'll get one more. There's that. Now, something else that I want to try, since this does have a really sharp spine, let's see if we can do a little, I mean, would you look at that? That sucker scrapes really, really good. I mean, look at that. Pretty nice. Oh, the wind's blowing. So, I really think we could get a fire going without my favorite thing but why not go ahead and bring in <clears throat> my favorite so this is the old five foot hunk five year old hunk of fat wood that's been laying out here it's probably older than that but that's how long i've had it and let's just see how well this thing scrapes some fat wood and of course it does excellent but what we're going to do just in case you live in a culturally deprived area and you don't have any fat wood. We're going to try this just on the little cedar shavings and see if we can take the old ferro rod here and get this thing going with just the cedar shavings. Because I know this is going to, it's going to, I mean, just, I just want to look at that. It, man, it, wow, it, by golly, shaves. So, let's see. I mean, 
in one strike and then we add that to the mix it just gives it that much more loveliness and man that smells so good so there we go that's the uh not bad there at all ah oh, that smells good okay so that was some of the practical testing for the made in the usa gerber principle but since we do maintain such a cutting-edge, state-of-the-art scientific knife testing facility here at Survival on Purpose Worldwide Headquarters, I think it's only right that we check the balance of this blade with the balance, orientation, and rotation device right there. I mean, it's the principle of the thing, right? I don't want to say that off video. It's kind of lame, but it's stuck. Let's try with a little more authority. Hmm. Oh, a little bounce back on that one. There we go. Give it one more try. I believe we're going to call this one balanced. I got to say, I like this little knife. It's just very handy. You got a very comfortable handle on it. Uh, seems like a very functional little blade and it's pretty well balanced. What I really like about it is it is made in the USA at just over the $50 mark. So this could be a great little all around camp knife, backpacking knife, or even the EDC fixed blade. It's just, it's just got such a wide variety of applications and uses i like the little sheath that goes you know you can you can carry it several different ways and it just plain old feels good in your hand this thing has got a spine on it like nobody's business it's got a really good edge on it and it's um again made in the usa so i put a link in the video description below if you want to go check this out further i really uh i like this one so anyway once again, thanks to the folks at Gerber Gear for sending me this so I could show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and every Saturday. And right now we're doing sharp Saturday videos. So something sharp every Saturday. And occasionally random videos throughout the week. If you want to make sure you don't miss a single one, I invite you to go to survivalonpurpose.com forward slash subscribe. Uh, get connected with my weekly email newsletter. Every week I'll send you an email and it'll have links to previous videos. And usually there's like a really old one in there that you might not have seen. Uh, there'll be some news information and deals or offers or whatever I think you might be interested in. And very often we do some survivor only stuff, <laughs> survivor only, well, subscriber only stuff for the email subscribers. So if you want to get involved in that and take advantage of that, be sure and go to survivalonpurpose.com forward slash subscribe. So I'll stop rambling. I really, really sincerely appreciate your support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.